Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you to all our partners. Don't forget to check out golftalkradio.com for our latest contest, Pass Robles Golf Club Golf Package with in at Pass Robles. We'll have another Orange Whip uh, Golf.com contest uh, drawn in June. And in the next couple of minutes, we'll draw the winner for the Orange Whip uh, product contest here on the show. So if you missed us, check us out on iTunes or go to golftalkradio.com to download the latest episodes and take Golf Talk Radio with you wherever you go. What you got over there, Mr. Gibbs? <laughs> I was reading a really bad joke. Um, <clears throat> Are you going to make us read it? No, it's, yeah, you should read this, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> you always do that to me. Top one? Yeah. <coughs> a thoroughly sloshed duffer stumbled into the 19th hole, staggering up to a woman at the bar and planted a big, wet, sloppy kiss right on her lips. With that, the woman slapped him in the face, and he came to his senses. Awfully sorry, old girl, he said, <laughs> wow. rubbing his cheek. But you look exactly like my wife. You're a worthless, drunken, useless excuse for a human being, she snarled. Come to think of it, slurred the old inebriate. You sound exactly like her, too. dum ba bum That was not bad. See, you even tell jokes better after winning a truck. She even threw a little English. Excuse me, old man. I'm that was so a tongue. Sorry about that. That, that was a tongue twister. Yeah. It was Big a time. tongue twister. I was trying to read ahead. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Misconceptions, Mike. That's what I was thinking about. Misconceptions because it was it's Cinco de Mayo, and yes. the biggest misconception is even when I grew up, I thought it was Mex- the Mexicans' Independence Day. That's what I thought and it was. I thought it was beer drinking day. <laughs> well, it turned out to be. A it was. <laughs> it, it was. Is. It still is. Those are cases. Because I was in Massachusetts, and they yes. had one Mexican restaurant there, and that, it was a the party, man. It was that was Heck that's yeah. where you needed to be in that day. But it's that's when they beat the French um, army in 1862 or whatever it is. In golf. Um, in golf. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, because the French Army had a great golf team. Was that a Ryder Cup <laughs> format? Did. Who's that guy that played triple in <laughs> the like, British Open? They won a war, <laughs> war of Pueblo. Pueblo War or something. I don't know the exact year, but it's, it, they celebrate that because the, the uh, Pueblin towns all around Pueblo there got, got together and surrounded the, the French Army, which was, should have won that war, you would think on paper anyways. Um, and they didn't, and so the Mexicans celebrate the victory of that war. But I really, that's a big misconception, which brings me up to my point. Nikki posted a week ago before the Amazing Ace um, that practice makes perfect, and you posted a really nice golf swing of yours. It was a very nice golf swing. Thank you. A little over-rotated at the bottom, but I won't bring that up. But it was a... <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, it was really good, and then I made a, I snarred back saying, no, practice makes permanent, not perfect. It's because true. it's true. Practice makes more permanent, but perfect practice makes perfect. So right after that, you, should, you proved me wrong because you just went and made a perfect shot and won a truck. So um, she said she blocked it a little I, bit. I blocked it a little yeah. right. <laughs> but I asked my clinics. Fortunately, how many believe the practice makes perfect? And almost everybody raises their hand. You know, they're like, well, because we, that's you know, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Take a left on Fifth Street. Yeah, practice, <laughs> practice, <laughs> practice, 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 practice. So, but it, that is a misconception, like keeping your head down in golf. Yes. Everybody, you know, you've been told to keep your head down. Oh yeah, husband tell me that all the time, or you know, they got people. My you know, every time I hit a ball on top, it my friends tell me keep my head down. Right. Such it's all big, in what you practice. Such a big misconception, and so that's why I thought I would bring it up. Not only because it's Cinco de Mayo, but because of your comment. But awesome, because you proved me wrong. You had well, at least you had a perfect shot. Might not have been a perfect. At that time. That's because I never backed down. At that time, that's right, because you don't back down, and now you're trucking. And now I'm trucking. You got your chips cashed in, and you're <laughs> that's trucking. That's right. So, but I still love you, Billy. But a big misconception, and also, is if we, you know, we know, we talked about this on the, on the show many times. You ask somebody, how come there's 18 holes in golf? And they says there's 18 shots, shots in a bottle of scotch. Right. That's a giant misconception. I don't know if it's even true. It might be. I've never drank that many shots. But um, it's not the reason why it's 18 holes. 18 beers? What, why is, why is it 18? Because that's how much land well, they had to cover to get that's, back? 
St. Andrews used to be like 21 holes it was 20, or something. It was 22 holes. 22? Had 11 yeah. coming out and 11 coming in. And a lot of golf courses were, were using St. Andrews as the standard because it was one of the first, you know, regulation, if you will, golf courses. I don't know if that's the right word. But it was common to find golf courses that were comprised of 12 holes, 19, 23, 15, before any other number. In 1764, like St. Andrews, that we know now, the old course of St. Andrews converted 22 holes into 18. The main reason was is they needed the space for the maintenance barn, the bunkhouse, the pro shop, et cetera. The only reason they went from 22 to 18 is because they needed the space. So that so they they took two holes. Wow. They took four Everybody holes copied them. And it says it's, it's as simple as that. 18 holes did not come from the standard until the 19, did not become standard until 1900s, but in 1764, more courses copied St. Andrew's model than in back in 1858. The Royal Nation Golf Club issued these new rules so that it states it's 18 holes as regulation. So it's not more simple than they just needed space and they huh. went from there. But they still only have 13 greens, I believe, on the property. I yeah, because they have doubles. Like, yeah, yeah. Like double greens. So, you know, so it's because yeah. they come in and coming out. But it's pretty cool. That's the only reason. And the golf cup hole, why it's four and a quarter inches, that's not a misconception. But you know why it is? Why? Because there was a pipe that the guy used, yep. and uh, it worked out real well to take out uh, cups. And uh, everybody said, can we do that, too? And they said, yeah. yeah there was a pipe. In How the, big is it? Pipe in the barn that they so they could cut through, or a can or a pipe was a pipe. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was happened to be four and a quarter inches, and that's what became the standard. Strictly of... Too bad it wasn't a 12 inch pipe. I wish it was a 55 <laughs> gallon drum. <laughs> but there's no magic behind that or no logic behind it. That's yeah. as simple as that story is, too. Same with the 18 hole. Now, whether there's 18 shots in a bottle of scotch, which came first? I don't know. Is there? I mean, I don't I know. Wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I there was no, 12 was... and then some leftover. <laughs> <laughs> is that 18 ounces? I did 12 I, shot an ounce. I have experience with, with a, a bottle of tequila. Is a shot How many ounce? shots no. in that? Uh, I think my friends and I, <laughs> too many, two, two other friends. I think we went through twenty three, twenty three shots. I think it was something like that. Twenty four shots. So you can imagine oh. if you divide that by three. Well, I can understand why you don't remember how many. Yeah, it was. Oh, <laughs> I remember. lost count at fourteen. You're, thinking, you're seeing double. I remember the beginning. I lost the middle, and I remember the end. <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> there was a Saturday in there somewhere. And, there's no, <laughs> and, a, and a horse and, and a beach. And <laughs> I'll 20, just leave it at that. Twenty-six hours of headache afterwards. Oh god. Yeah. So yeah. just to finish up, because I just I just should have read this. In 1858, the RNA issued new rules for its members. Rule one stated that one round of the links or 18 holes is a reckon, is reckoned a match unless otherwise stipulated. So 18 holes became a stipulated match at that point in 1858. Unless it's otherwise stipulated, so that's became your standard match, if you will, because it was all match play forever. Wow, yeah. that's cool. So, so we we had on lo- last week or the week before, what what course is that at? That happened St. Andrews. But didn't we say that's not the home of golf? No, it's not. It's uh, yeah. muscles, muscle, muscle borough, muscle, Shor- muscle shoals, something like this. Yeah. <laughs> muscle beach. Muscle I don't think. That. But what you know, that? it's funny. I ran into Cheryl at the Black Lake, and she played. She went over and played. It's still there. Really? And it's and it's and the, they still play it. And it's uh, you know, it's. I guess it's in, uh, they go inland to play it or something, but she's played it. They go inland. No, to play if it's it. too cold and miserable on the on the shore, <laughs> they go inland, and that course is what they play. I think. Oh. Musselburg. Oh. Musselburg. Musselburg. Muscle Beach is what I call it. Because you know I used to hang out at Muscle, Muscle Beach. Shoals. <laughs> Muscle, <laughs> right. Muscles and garlic salt. Well, yeah, there the you go. The funny thing is, it's in my favorites. It is funny. Wow. Yeah. And you've never played it yet. I oh, you're it going up. though. No, I looked it up for you, so it's still in my wiki favorites. No right. trucks allowed. Oh, and they Trekking. made her play. She did. She had uh, these nice dress jeans on. She said, and and they didn't let her. Can't play in jeans, so they lent her a pair of old, uh, ripped up rain pants from a rain suit. They to cover them up. Yeah, so they wouldn't <laughs> let her play. And when she went when she play to that play golf where course. that that golf course, Who Muscle Muscleburg, Cheryl. Cheryl, some friend of mine from Black Lake. Wow. Her and her husband were over there. Played a few. Times. That's actually really cool. But she went in to play, and they said they can't wear jeans, and she didn't. They, they weren't like Levi blue jeans. Yeah. They were just nice dress, but she said just put rain pants, and they gave her so she could play. Tough. That's actually really cool. Yeah, so, huh. So you guys I'm, ready to draw so the not, winner? I'm not going to bring my jeans next time we go. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, so I need a, uh, oh. I need a, a number from all three of you. <laughs> oh, here we one go. Number. Here we go again. <laughs> one number? One three number thousand. between. <laughs> here we need one number between 1 and 30. Well, you have to have this. 25. I can't believe you didn't pick two. Second hole, man. Two, 25. Two and five, my five iron. 
Okay, so Nikki picked 25. Stretch. This wow. Is, this is for the, the winner of the orangewhipgolf.com contest. So 25. And five for the, how many letters in truck? <laughs> I was going okay. to do trucking. Uh, that works. <laughs> <laughs> but your shape fingers were too short. They worked. I didn't have enough fingers. I, I didn't have enough knuckles <laughs> to count it out. I counted, I hey, went, knuckles. <laughs> Leave my knuckles alone, man. I found one knuckle the other day. I know a guy named Knuckles used to hang out with Harry. Yeah. You really can't use <laughs> the frick. Just keep counting. I can't it. say it. Somebody, I can't say it. Somebody, somebody, I, I'll say it off air. I, okay. can't, I, almost, <laughs> I almost said something that would have ended everything. Leave it would have been completely done. Alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, uh, right, Dave, what number? <laughs> oh, I don't know. My IQ. Nine. Nine. All right. Oh my God. So we're going. What is that up to? Drawing number thirty-nine. Entry number thirty-nine. 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 Going one. Going. You know what? Nine. Number oh, nine. Wow. Wow. Don't tell me it's Nikki Anderson. No, no. it's Mitchell Dubbers. Oh, from Mitch, Mitch Dubbers. <laughs> the Dubster. Mitch, Mitch wins the, a, an Orange Whip Golf dot com product of his choice. Whip it. So, Mitchell good Dubbers, for him. good for Mitch. That's cool, mm-hmm. man. Mitch lives in Aurora Grande right here on the Central Coast. I won't give your uh, your, your address, your home address, <laughs> your phone number. number, or your social security <laughs> number out. But good job there, Mitch. So, way to go. Um, Mitch, you win. Uh, orange Whip or Orange Web, uh, Orange <laughs> Whip <laughs> Golf. A really com, good thing. <laughs> orange Whip Golf.com product. That's what you win. There you go. So we'll have another contest drawn in June. And don't forget, everybody, to check out golftalkradio.com for the contest. All you got to do is to, uh, is to enter on the trivia form. It's absolutely free. For Orange Whip products, type in Orange Whip Wedge in the trivia form. For the Paso Golf Package, type in Paso. That's simple. So cool, man. Way to go. Good show, gang. Yeah. Don't you think? What should be our song that we take us yeah, off what's the our green take back to sign? the clubhouse? Yeah. Maybe that's when I should have played Help. Leaving on a jet yeah. plane. <laughs> Leaving on a jet plane. There you go. Yeah, I'm traveling. Traveling again. I'm just going to miss you guys. How long are you traveling for? Well, I'm going two weeks in a row for four days each week. So eight days travel, but I'll be back for a few days in between to see you guys. There we go. This, this is... Because if you miss the cut, this is the song. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is the miss the this cut is the song. This is the last cut. I'm All the guys that miss the cut walking off the green. <laughs> 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 oh, hilarious. Yeah. That's They're the picking up their bags and the caddy. The Don't have to worry about hotel tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Phil. <laughs> Mike, Mike, play well the weekend, Mike. I'm going to go to the airport. There you go. Take a nap. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> Play better next week, man. So it's you. okay, buddy. See you on the range. Remember, practice makes perfect. Raise up, raise up your chin, little buddy. Practice round next week, man. Okay. Right. Guys, see ya. Oh. I'm out of money. Keep it on course, people. On a jet plane. I don't see you next week, everybody. Have a good weekend.